what's next. Uh, many people are rejoicing, many people are lamenting, and we as a nation know that we need to come together and be together, um, but that healing really can't begin right away. We can't get right back on, 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 on the horse and, and go forward, but we do need a time in which we need to pull back and let that healing take place. We look to you for comfort. Good, Good Lord, Lord, dwell with us. us. We look to you for wisdom. Good, Good Lord, Lord, dwell with us. us. We look for your strength. Good, Good Lord, Lord, dwell with us. us. We look for your courage. Good, Good Lord, Lord, dwell with us. That the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit with the book of Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices, together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. For all who celebrate, mourn, and look for comfort at this hour, remind them of your gentle presence. God, of peace, have mercy upon us. And have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, churches, Rick, as you know, um, have historically been uh, healing places of healing and restoration and reconciliation. Whenever there are national crises like 9-11, like um, plane crashes, this kind of thing, uh, people want to flock and come together. Uh, churches are a natural, historically, are naturally uh, places to do that. Um, so much so, we don't know, maybe they're coffee shops, maybe they're, you know, uh, some other kind of community centers. But traditionally, this is a place that stands for healing and restoration and reconciliation and figuring out your life. I think that the part of the church that's going to continue to be viable is the part that provides safe spaces for people to come in, be honest about who they are and who they are before God. So I think this election of unprecedented uh, um, anxiety and fear um, and emotion um, has, has really produced kind of a um, it's almost like a, a bomb that went off. I mean, the, the depth of emotion, the, um, uh, the sadness, the lament, the joy, um, the satisfaction, um, it has really touched on both ends a lot of emotion. And so how do we make sense of those emotions, especially the sadder ones, um, other than the crucible of grace, which churches as places that, that, that call to mind Jesus and Jesus' healing power can provide. So we open the church doors with the real deep desire um, for people to come and to um, let it all hang out. Uh, healing only starts when we get to, um, you know, when we realize the pain and we realize what is involved in it. And so the safe space for people to be themselves and to um, to begin this healing process is what we hope to provide.